Just you have to prove that little bit of the game? Just prove that I'm a true competitor, a guy that loves game of football, and just be out here with my teammates having fun once again. Well, what about the way you have kind of blown up for lack of a better word? I mean, I know you don't think he's surprised yourself. Yeah. A lot of people are kind of looking at him like, man, oh, where he come from? Yeah, I mean, I, for me, it's always, I always been one of those guys that's kind of been underrated, but it's all good. I like being that way. Too. That way, I just set my own standard and go work as hard as I can, be the best I can. Devontae Wyatt was talking about uh, you know, skull sessions and finding your why to play football. You know, through this process, through your career at Georgia, what's what's motivating you to be the best and, and go as high as you can in the draft? Um, I have to say, I've always wanted to be the best person I could be, just as a human being. Then I have a family that I want to do it for. That's my main reason why I do what I do. And uh, I just want to be the best person I could be. Coming out of the position group that you did with that defensive line as talented as it is in this year's draft, uh, what kind of legacy do y'all feel like you left for the next group of guys that are going to be playing here next year? I feel like we left something that will carry on for a long time, just being able to get to know each other's why, get to know each other deeper than football, and I think that'll go a long ways. Instead of just being together playing football all day, you actually know why the person beside you is doing what he's doing. How important was Trey Scott you know? Uh, Coach Trey Scott, he was very important in my development. development. And coming from high school, I was one of those guys. I didn't play a lot of technique. I was just out there playing football, having fun. And once I got here, he sh like with the technique he showed me, it made the game slow down a lot. Have there been any teams that you've been talking with more than once or a couple times? And who been talking with? Um, I've talked to the Eagles a couple times, more than once. I've talked to uh, the Jacks more than once, the Giants more than once. It's been a pretty, it's been a couple teams. And what were you hoping to prove and show out there today? Um, I was, like I said, just one of those guys that's compete. I, I came out here to be with my teammates once again in Athens, and uh, that was just something that I wanted to do. Did you go to dinner with any teams last night? Did they get to know you better? Uh, I went to dinner with the Jags last night. Where'd they take you? Uh, we went to uh, Steakhouse downtown. I forgot the name of it. <laughs> so you didn't have to eat a salad? It was good. You didn't have to eat a salad? Nah, I didn't have to eat a salad. <laughs> <laughs> didn't have to do that. Have you talked with the Falcons? I have talked with the Falcons. How'd it, how'd it go? Uh, it went well. Uh, talked to him at the combine. I also talked to him here as well. What's next for you now, leading up to the draft? Uh, just continue working on my craft, trying to get better, get ready to go into the NFL, be as healthy as I can, be the best that I can be. What's it What's say about this team that has a record-setting uh, NFL personnel here after winning a national championship? What does that mean? Uh, that's some to me. That's something special. That's something that I never forget in my life. Just winning the national championship that really meant a lot to me and my teammates as well. And it'll go a long way. Maybe about this, maybe the last time those guys get to see you in person. Like you put your resume out there on tape in person. That yes, sir. For the that for the most part, I do feel like I have done that. Put out everything that I can, but it's always room for improvement. How many private workouts do you expect to get moving forward? Uh, ain't no telling. Yeah. Ain't no telling. Uh, I'd say for me it's really not a relief yet because um, I'm just one of those guys I've worked so hard for so long and just to be this close it makes it even harder for me to like to just even think about quitting or anything like that I just got to keep going because I'm right here at the end. Are you going to be in Vegas for the draft? Or you I won't be in Vegas. Great one. That's how you doing linebacker drills. How do you think that speaks to your versatility as a player? Uh, I think it says a lot. Just I'm one of those guys, like I said, I, I can do anything the coach needs me to do if he needs me to drop a coverage, put my hand down the wrist. I can be one of those guys that help contribute when the championship can be. Gotcha. Where would you be going to Vegas for to spend time in town? Be with my family. Big party plan? Uh, bad party plan already? No party plans yet. Mm -hmm. That's it. But the smile says there will be one. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> What's be been your favorite night. part of this process? Uh, just being around some legendary coaches, uh, getting to meet a lot of a lot of the staff, just being able to see guys in person that I've seen on TV growing up my whole life that I've looked up to or always idolized just for being one of the great coaches. Have you met anybody yet where you're just like, wow, I can't believe I just talked to this person? I have to say Bill Belichick. Yeah. Who wouldn't want to talk to Bill Belichick? Uh, There's a lot of them, but he was one that really stood out. That was today for the first time? Yes, it was. When you get done an interview with him, what do you hope the biggest takeaway is about you? Uh, he's a great person on the field and as well out the field. I would, like, I'm one of those guys. I don't want to just be remembered on the field. I want to be remembered out the field as well. A very humble guy. 
a uh, guy that comes to work every day and just gives it gives it his all. Has anyone given you any tips or advice throughout this process? Uh, I, I, I've had a lot of guys give me a lot of tips, um, like from a league hand, guys in the league, Stokes. Um, a lot of guys, they just try to keep me positive, uh, try to keep my head on right, tell me to just keep being me, and I'll be perfect. Last question, guys. Last question. Uh, you have done that to be as a top 15 pick, and then you seem to have raised your stuff. Um, I do. I mean, that is the goal from jump be as the highest pick as possible. But it's in the God. It's in God's hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.